I also think it's incredibly cool and awesome that you are directing an opera about the Exonerated Five, which most people call the Central Park Five. I'm a Harlem girl, so I call them the Exonerated Five. Um, and just really quickly, when is that going to be mounted? Uh, because, you know, the black folks in opera, you know, I'm, I'm in New York, and I just went to see the opening night of Fire Shut Up In My Bones, Charles Blow's opera, the first black opera oh, to ever debut. Yeah. How it's was so it? Cool. I, I it know was about incredible. that, but I haven't spoken to people. Yeah, Beautiful. it was incredible. You should come up to New York. I'll take you. But it's closing really? soon. Really? Okay. Oh, I'll take well, you. That's, it's closing that's a soon. Short run. Yeah, it's a short run. Um, but d- tell us a little bit about that, how you got involved with um, directing an opera about the Central Park Five. We only got two minutes, so make it quick. <laughs> I'm going to make it real quick. Um, you know, this, uh, you know, after COVID again, you know, people, as they should, are really looking at all these spaces and saying, you know, well, you need to do a much better job in terms of letting um, black and brown folks into this. And so someone reached out to me and they know that I'm a director. They know uh, my story with theater. And they said, you know, we need more people to go into this space. And they mm-hmm. asked me to do it at first. I was hesitant. But then, you know, I, you know, I, I read the opera. Um, uh, Anthony Davis and Richard Wesley did a bang-up job. It's Pulitzer Prize winning. And I realized myself, I was like, you know, I'm going to do this. It's, it's not just about the art. It's about the activism of it. And it's a story that I relate to because, you know, I was 16 when I first got, you know, arrested by the police. And mm-hmm. so... Uh, for me, it's a, again, it just ties in line with me wanting to tell important stories. It's just in a different space than I imagined, which is fun and exciting for me. Yeah. 